A new ABC poll asked the simple question, was the war in Afghanistan worth it? Now, uh, this is really interesting because if you guys remember back to the 2008 election or just the time span of 2004 to 2009-ish, roughly, maybe 2010, uh, the common wisdom among Democrats and Republicans was that, okay, Republicans were in favor of both wars, Iraq and Afghanistan. And the Democrats were on the page of, yeah, we want to end the war in Iraq, but nobody discussed ending the war in Afghanistan. It was uh, considered to be a third rail, although I'm not sure it actually was a third rail. But if you go back and look at the 2007, roughly, uh, Democratic primary leading up to the 2008 election, everybody was, uh, yeah, the war in Iraq, bad, bad, bad. Nobody said anything about the war in Afghanistan, right? So the assumption was... Well, everybody knows Saddam Hussein had nothing to do with 9-11, and he didn't have weapons of mass destruction, and it was a war of choice, not a war of necessity. But Afghanistan, I mean, come on, we were attacked on 9-11. We had to go after members of Al-Qaeda. Members of Al-Qaeda, you think of Afghanistan, right? Uh, well, that's interesting, because according to this new poll, 67% of Americans say no, the war in Afghanistan was not worth it. Now, uh, to me, this is the nail in the coffin. Uh, also, by the way, 43% say it did contribute to the country's long-term security. But that is an overwhelming number. 67% say, yeah, we should have never went in in the first place. So Americans look at the Iraq War, yeah, that was a mistake, shouldn't have done that. And now Afghanistan, yeah, that was a mistake, shouldn't have done that. So. When I come out here and I say, almost on a daily basis, it seems like, the American people are non-interventionists, they're not pacifists. They don't say, hey, yeah, you can attack us and we don't care, right? No, no, no. We say the only time violence and war is justified is in self-defense. Now, when I say that's a common sense position, it's not some radical thing. The American people clearly, clearly uh, agree with me on this. So then when you look at the money aspect of it, you really want to bang your head against a wall. So remember, we do live in a representative democracy. You know what that means? Uh, on most issues, unless it's a constitutional issue, if it's anything else, uh, the, our leaders are supposed to represent the will of the majority. I know, it's a radical idea. And if they did that, we would have pull, pulled out of Afghanistan like this, or we would have never been in there in the first place. And by the way, don't give me, oh, it's soft on terror, because everybody's in favor of intelligence gathering and using SEAL Team 6, for example, to get something done with precision. And when you look at the numbers, only there's only 50 to 100 Al-Qaeda operatives in Afghanistan, according to our own CIA. So what are we doing there? We just had 68,000 troops there. 68,000 to fight 50 dudes? What are you, nuts? But then, uh, when you look at the money aspect, we're spending $6.7 billion a month. Here's a good question. What else could that have been used for? Well, among many other things, according to a hunger nonprofit, Feeding America, $1 can provide seven low-cost meals to hungry Americans. So the money we spent each month in Afghanistan could provide... 46.9 billion meals. Pretty much enough to feed every uh, of America's 49 million food insecure citizens for an entire year. Gee, you think that money would have been better spent in that regard? Look, the American people are tired of the American empire. We don't want it. We don't want it. We have 900 military bases around the world in 130 countries. When all is said and done in Iraq, we will have spent $7 trillion by the year 2053. All completely wasted money. Our military spends more than the next 14 biggest militaries in the world combined. And by the way, most of those guys are our allies. So why do we even need it to be that big? No, no. See, it's... It's the, old, it's the old saying, a lot of people think it's a cliche, but it's true, it's the military industrial complex. There's a small number of people who get very rich from perpetuating war and building more tanks and building more uh, body armor and armament. And as a result, they lobby the politicians, the politicians give them more contracts, we keep cranking out all of this war material, 
And then what are you going to do? Let it sit there? No, nope, apparently you got to police the world and, and uh, keep the business cycle going. It's horribly nefarious and it needs to stop immediately.